in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God shall be revealed, that it shall be finished, as he had declared to his servants the prophets. Now, we all know that signal by Brother Branham. Now, when that uh, angel begins to sound, the mystery of God will be over. Now listen, a girl and a boy want to marry each other, but they do not know who she is and who he is. But they love each other. They exchange gifts. Wonderful. She gives something, he gives something, he treasures it, puts a ring here, he looks at it very often. Oh, my boyfriend game. And she's very much interested in that ring. I remember one day in Ceylon, in Ceylon, the island Ceylon, I, I saw a girl rubbing a ring. I said, Girlie, what are you doing here? Oh, that my boyfriend gave me. All right, the gifts are going on. But some people use the gift to love the bridegroom. Some people use the gift to enjoy my, the worldly pleasures to make a big money. The tears use the gift to earn and do business. But the bride saw love in that gift. I saw love in that gift. I could have made money. But many people made money out of it because they look for money, something in this world. But I look for something big. I look for the giver. So I didn't know what it is. So, and one boy comes to the girl. Hey girl, do you know this? That boy whom we are loving is a very rich man. He's a rich man's son. He has got a lot of properties, a lot of money. That man whom you are going to marry, don't leave him. And when this is clear, told by one of her own friends, what does she do? All right, I'll marry you. When she decides to marry, that day, what ceases? Outward, outward show of love ceases. May be given, but that's not necessary. She's got the man. And from that day, all her friends will go away. Suppose she is in love with ten boys. When she says, I'll marry that boy, nine will get angry and go away. That's right. This girl is, is she's three things as a big one. She becomes lonely. She can't flirt about. If she starts flirting about, he will slap on the head. Come on this way. What is that flirting? Till then you are not. But now the punishment is severe. So many, many people don't want to marry because they can fool about. No, but not, not all, not all. You can see them, you know. But when you marry, you got a break, crutch. You know, I used to walk very fast because I'm used to travel miles and miles walking. My wife will walk like this. He said, stop, don't walk like that. I said, won't you stay, stay home? No, I'll come with you. But you can't walk. But you go slow. Why do you want to walk fast? Then I say like this, I say, oh my God, this is like a big, big stone on my neck. <laughs> then she'll say, oh, then she say, oh, I want water. Then she say, I'm hungry. I'm going to preach. Then I say, I got so wild one day, you better sit in this home till I come. I went for twenty miles, walk, preach, and came in the midnight and woke her up and went home. Yes, God, you, you'll have a break. And one thing, when the break is there, then the gear falls, clutch, you, you press the clutch, then the gear falls. So, God has clutches and brakes and everything for us also. When you are too fast, he'll be, put another clutch here, break here, then you go slow. If I didn't marry, I would have gone like a rocket somewhere and knocked my head and gone. But God immediately gave me a clutch. So every time it was like that. When you want to do something, just break. So those days I used to be there. I don't know why you call God gave you. She said, God gave you to be a break for you. You can't run like that those days. When you come back home, where did you go in the night? Why so late? Uh, you get what? Hey, keep quiet. No, I got every right to ask you. I got, I got power over your body. When you open the Bible, one day I opened the Bible. I was scolding here. She took the Bible and said, the wife has the authority over your body. Then I said, okay. <laughs> then she'll say, buy this shirt, put on this shirt, all right. 
They say, why this is so dirty like this? All right. I will be so angry, but still because God said, <coughs> one day my wife and I were fighting. Fight came to such an extent, I started the fight. She brought the Bible and said, come on. When she said, take the Bible, I said, all right. By pride cometh contention. Who started the fight? I said, I. Then you are proud. Okay. So, if you fight with the word, you can be have a better peace. One day my son came, he was doing some mischief, I called my son. Sonny, olden days, if a son makes mistake, they are taking them to the elder and they are stoning him to death. Then he read it. But God is love, now he doesn't do that. I won't do that anymore, all, brother, uh, father, I'll be a good boy. Because I, 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 God's love has made me not have that punishment. Bible will bring you to life. Speak in Bible. Speak in God's Word. Sing God's Word. Then you see God everything. I have seen God in everywhere, my friends. Two of you agree that such anything God will grant you. Now come on. The angel, mystery will be finished. But something is happening here. Read from the first verse. <coughs> I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and the rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it was the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book, upon, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and upon the earth, and cried with a loud voice, as when lion roareth. Now listen, lion roareth. And when he had cried, seven thunders, thunders utter the voice. You know, whenever God speaks, what happens? Right that moment, the thunders will, thunders will speak. That is how the bride knows somebody is coming down, which is God. God is going to meet you. God is going to touch you. You ask for God, God will meet in your home. He will reveal it to you. And the bride cannot live with that revelation. Bride has come to God's word. It is caught in the net. Now you must know who your bridegroom is. The mystery is over. You have to decide and catch hold of the hand. And the bride comes, come on. And this, and how does the bride know the bridegroom? Come on. Bridegroom knows that it comes the cloud and thunders. When he speaks, there is thunder. When he speaks, there is thunder. Thunder uh, echoes. So you can understand when God speaks, the uh, thunder echoes. Not only that, it, the angel comes to the cloud with the rainbow and he puts his earth on. Now see, left foot where? Right foot where? Left foot on the sea, uh, right foot on the sea and left foot on the earth and cries with a loud voice. Then the thunder utter. This is, you know, when this is finished, mystery is finished, then the bridegroom takes you.